everybody, it's Crystal. I know it's been a while since I've done a video, um, which is actually why I'm making this one now. I know it's been like a couple of months. It's kind of disappeared out of thin air. Um, so I definitely would like to apologize for that. It won't happen again. Um, and that's actually kind of the purpose of why I made this video today, um, to talk about a couple of things. So first of all, I want to formally apologize to everybody who supported and watched and you know back to me when I decided that I was going to go public about having herpes and um, even to the people who um, were actually getting something out of the video those of you who reached out to me those of you who subscribed uh, to my page I want to apologize to you guys because it wasn't fair um, but I you know I am gonna kind of give you a little bit of explanation of what was going on so um, honestly, truthfully, I'm just going to be 100% transparent. I got scared. Um, when I decided to go public about having herpes, I knew that there were things that were going to come with it. I knew that, you know, everybody wasn't going to agree with the decision. I knew that um, there were going to be people who weren't very happy about it. I knew that I was going to have to tell some things um, that people didn't know, um, ruffle some feathers. I knew that um, I was going to come across a lot of different opinions, good and bad, um, and I was okay with that. I had accepted it and I was okay with it, um, but I don't think I prepared myself for it. I don't really think you can prepare yourself for that kind of thing, um, but I think I kind of went into everything with a happy-go-lucky fairy tale idea of what this was going to be like um you know when god told me to tell my story this wasn't exactly something that i wanted to do from the get-go like who wakes up and just goes you know what i'm gonna tell the entire world that i have herpes like people don't just do that it's it's something that's laid on your heart to do and um that's not to say that i don't want to do it and that i don't want to help people i absolutely do um, but you guys just kind of have to look at it from this perspective of it was something that was life changing for me. Um, so I took a step back for a moment and, um, mostly because I did allow, um, some things and some people to get in my head, you know, when you decide to do something like this and certain people don't support it or, you know, people that you expect to be cool with it and have your back don't support it and, you know, it hurts your feelings a little bit. Um. So this video is really mostly about not allowing people to um, push their opinions off on you. Herpes, no herpes, whatever it is. But I allowed other people's fears to be pushed on me and become my fears. Like other people, even though you know they genuinely cared about me, but their own fears and their own stigma about herpes um, was pushed onto me. Like, oh, well, things like this, you know. Are you sure you want to do this? This may affect your ability to get in a relationship because now you're telling all your business or, you know, even stuff like, well, are you sure? It could affect your work life. It could affect this. It could affect that. And those were things that were not fears for me. Those Actually, those were fears that I had already conquered before I decided that I was going to tell my story. And it wasn't until after I told my story and other people's fears came to the surface that I allowed those fears to be pushed off on me. So, I'm back in a good space now. Like I said, back it up for a minute. Take a moment. Um, but... I would have been no good to you guys if I was walking around with the fears that I'm telling you not to have. So I'm back. It's my normal self. Um, so like I said, you know, I accepted myself with herpes, um, but I just had to get up, take a moment because you can't allow other people to push their fears off on you. So um, if you're already in a good space with yourself having herpes, or even if you're not, don't allow other people's fears to become your issue. Like their fears about whether or not you can have children, whether or not you can be in a relationship, and whether or not you can accomplish things and have a normal life with herpes has absolutely nothing to do with you. Herpes does not change who you are. Herpes is a condition. So it's something that you have, it is not who you are. It doesn't change your ability to have children. You know, plenty of people who have children and herpes. My best friend has children and herpes. I can check out the other video that we did together. It's awesome. Um, she actually coaxed me into doing that video. 
I, that was in the midst of that all that stuff going on and I was like I want to do a video but I'm scared and she coaxed me into doing it by um, doing the video on her page and then throwing me in there and then I ended up doing the video I was supposed to do anyway so um, y'all can check that out on the I think I posted it in one of my shared playlists you guys should be able to see that and please let me know if you can't so that I can try to fix it still learning this whole YouTube situation I'm trying to work it out um, but don't allow those things to become your own fears like you know who you are you know what you want to do with your life you know that what you're capable of so don't allow somebody else's opinion and someone else's fears to be pushed off on you especially if you've gotten to a point where you've taken care of those things like I had gotten to a point where like I'm not gonna lie my initial reaction to finding out I had herpes was like oh my gosh I'm no one's ever gonna want to be with me and no one's gonna want to date me I'll never have kids I'll never have sex like all of these things came to the surface. I had dealt with all of these things way, way before I decided to make a video. And it wasn't until I started making videos that everybody else's opinions and fears came towards me and started repeating things that I had been gotten over. And then I had to back up. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm way past that. That's not even an issue. So if you are at that place in your life where you've starting to, you know, you've kind of gotten over it or started to get over it please do not allow um, people around you or even people who you don't know people's opinions and the media and everything to make you backslide into that place that you've already come from you've already come out of that you've already started overcoming this thing but please don't allow that educate them most of that stuff comes out honestly I'm not gonna lie to you most of that stuff comes out of ignorance it is I hate to be like that but it really what it is it it's not a ignorance isn't I'm not saying in a bad way because ignorance is nothing but the lack of knowledge so if the stigma behind herpes and all the things that people conjure up in their minds to make them think that it's so big and so bad is because they honestly don't know. And when you think about it, especially those of us who have herpes, we were just like them before we found out. I didn't know nothing about herpes until I was put in the situation that I was in. I just so happened to have a little bit of an advantage because I chose to accept somebody that had herpes. So I forced myself to learn about it. But before that, I knew absolutely nothing about herpes. I prob I'm i sure I walked around and said some of the stupid stuff I hear on a regular basis. Um, like when the Usher situation blew up, oh my gosh, I saw a million and one memes um, regarding herpes. And I'm not going to lie, some of them were kind of funny. Like I had to learn not to get offended by things. Please do not get it. You have to get to a place where you're not offended by everything. But not allowing people's thoughts and opinions and ignorance to be pushed off on you to make you feel less than what you are because that herpes doesn't change what you are you know who you are you know who you were before herpes when i i found out that i had herpes my name was crystal the day before i found out and it was crystal the day of and it was crystal the day after nothing nothing about me myself changed i had it took me a while to realize that but you don't change as a person unless you allow yourself to change just because you got herpes so like i said i just wanted to come on here and apologize to you guys um for disappearing so i'm back i'm alive and um it won't happen again so i'm not going to allow other things and other people to keep me from walking in my purpose and keep me from helping people and i'm um, not gonna let anybody feel make me feel bad about helping people a lot of people try to make me feel bad about what i was doing like even outside of oh telling your business like well i mean because then the, the the stigma comes out it's like well if people wouldn't have did this they wouldn't have been in a situation anyway um which is not true anybody who has sex is at risk for herpes so i just wanted to come in say hey to everybody and I'll see you guys soon. Some more videos coming soon. But mostly just to apologize to you guys. And tell y'all I love y'all. Thank you for supporting me. And I'll talk to y'all soon.